Hey, this is John Young here with the Disc Jockey News. Today we are outside here in the great state of Minnesota. We're going to be testing a wireless uh, system here, but we're going to be doing multiple. This is the, the little Sennheiser. You guys have seen me talk about this. So this is the XSW Digital. And I have three sets of these today. And this is something that people have been asking about. Now, the, what's cool about these things is that they can give you wireless ability to transmit from one location to another. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, starting us off right here. I've got my Electro Voice right here. And I'm going to be coming out of the Electro Voice. And then we're going to walk down the driveway. I've got my little cart set up here. And we're going to go about every 50 strides, 50 steps. So that's about 125 to 150 feet, depending upon how large my strides are. And we're going to set another speaker. We're going to go wirelessly from the first to the second to the second to the third. The way these little, little guys work is that you have a pair. Now you have a transmitter. Let's see. Transmitter receiver. And they're... They're meant to work with um, with different microphones and to be using for video and such. Or in this case, we're just going to send beam the audio. But you have to turn them on and you have to turn on your first pair. And they're flashing green, they're flashing green. And once they sync, they become solid green. I don't know if you can see that or not because of the, now we're solid green. So now I can go and I can stick one in the first speaker and then we can go to the second speaker because these two are paired. Once these two are paired, now I can grab the next set and start and plug those in so they're paired also. If I go and I start a receiver with a transmitter or, or whatever, if I do them out of order, the first two that go on are going to be the first pair. Then the next ones are going to be the next pair. So that's how they basically do it. So this, this little transmitter device right here, this is a transmitter, I'm pretty sure. Yes, transmitter. A uh, little transmitter can be used in... in um, with any of the receivers. It's just that when it, once this is on, the first receiver it finds is what it's going to uh, connect to. So we're gonna plug into the EV, turn the sound on, and we're gonna head down the driveway and set up our next speaker. Okay, so we have some music going. Now we're going to, I wanna get these strides about right. So here's two, three, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, 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 eight. We're about 50 strides away for this, this one. And I'm going to get my next set set now for the next one i'm going to be using some of the pieces you guys have seen me talk about i'm going to be using one of the little inverters here from ryobi we'll get that all fired up we're going to be using just an alto ts308 nothing fancy the alto has been something i've been using in in applications where if i needed to have some something where if the speaker got wet or what have you and it died i'm not out a ton of money the alto is a decent fill speaker not so much for a main so I've got the little receiver. I'm gonna plug that in, power's off. Plug it in the back. Now everything is on the ground. I've not put anything up in the air with this. So I'm gonna put the power to the speaker and we should be good. And now we have sound here. Okay, so we went and did the first jump and I'm finding that if I have the two receivers and, and such, like I'm holding a receiver right now next to the speaker that has the you can hear some static. So we're going to move us down. I just took it down about 50 strides, four, five, and uh, it, it kind of had some dropouts. So we're going to go down at only about 40 strides this time and see, because we lost it at about 50. So we'll go about 100 feet is, uh, is kind of what my, my goal is here on this run. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to do about 75 feet. We lost it at 100, uh, 100 feet last time. So we're going to put it at about 75 feet. So there we are. We have got signal now. We are paired up again. Let's go back and listen and see what we're having on the other side of this. So right next to our first jump point, we have our first speaker up there at about 50 strides. And I'm getting a little static. Okay, so I'm going to just wrap this experiment right here. We have one jumping to the speaker here, and we had a second one jumping to the speaker down right below me here. And there's absolutely no way we can get that signal with the transmitter and receiver so close because there's interference between the two. Even though they don't, they're technically not in the same, they're in the same 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. They're different channels, but they're still interfering with each other. So if you want to go and use the little, the little excess, right here they are, the XSW Digital from Sennheiser. 
you can't you can't piggyback. You can't go from one speaker to the next speaker to the next speaker because of this. Now I probably could go from one speaker to the first and then go wire to the like 50 feet to the next speaker. That might be a possibility. I'm not going to test that. Next, I'm going to try to do use these and go stereo and see if we can go um, if we can go back and forward back and forth with that. So let's see what we can do with that in the second video. But if you want to use these for piggybacking and having speaker transmitters receiver transmitters to the next speaker, it's not going to work for you. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. We are learning things out here in central Minnesota.